Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles season 4. Today we are in the 45th episode of the series and we have Soumya here with us who has been recently placed at Fidelity Investments as a part of her campus placements at VIT. She is here to share her interview experience with us but before we talk to her let's look at the eligibility criteria given for this company. So all students belonging to computer science and circuit branches were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th and 12th and an 80% or an 8 CGPA in the pursuing degree and also no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Soumya and understand her experience interviewing for this company. And congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Thank you. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, so my name is Soumya Rathi. I was born and raised in Bhopal and I am in my last year of college, VIT Vellore. My branch is Computer Science with Specialization in Business Systems. Okay. It's a okay. TCS collaborated branch if you have heard of it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, that's great. Thank it. you so much. Uh, you can now tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. Okay, so um, the company I got placed in is Fidelity Investments. Uh, I got selected through campus placements okay. only. Mm. Uh, this company came for summer internship in our third year. So uh, at that time, I applied for it. The criteria was like, okay. I guess eight plus CGPA should be there. Mm. No history of mm. arrears or current backlogs. This was the criteria. Mm. And about the interview process and the whole selection okay. process, First, there were three rounds in total. Okay. So the first round was online assessment. The okay. online assessment had, I guess, four rounds. Yeah, there were a mix of questions, English, aptitude, then uh, our core subjects like OS, hmm. CN, OOPS, okay. SQL, all these things. Okay. And uh, the two questions hmm. were coding questions. One was a basic okay. coding question. Okay. The second was medium medium coding questions hmm. hmm. uh, like yeah strings arrays after that uh, uh, I guess like whoever applied out of those people around 200 or okay. 150 students were selected for the technical round hmm. the technical round was one on one interview session uh, it went for like hmm. my interview round went for around 25 minutes hmm. So they asked mm. me questions related to my resume, what all projects mm. I made, how I made, what was my contribution in it, the skills and uh, yeah, I was okay. the research and development head for IEEE PCS. So mm. they didn't even ask me like what was the, my contribution there as well. Then they asked me some coding questions like I had to live code mm. and they could see the output and everything on their software only. Uh, hmm. The coding questions were also medium questions like uh, even odd and uh, factorial. Okay. Yeah, basic okay. questions. Some of n numbers. After that, whoever cleared this round, hmm. like around hmm. 60 people cleared the technical round, hmm. they were all sent to hmm. HR. HR round was pretty basic. Like for me, it was pretty basic. They asked me some normal questions like what are my future plans if I am considering to uh, go for higher studies or anything like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, again, questions related to my resume. Mm. Whatever I mentioned, they mm. asked everything. Whatever hackathons I took part in, mm. what was my project, how did okay. my project contribute. And then uh, you got uh, the summer internship. So how many people were selected finally? Uh, hmm. The result was from hmm. both the campuses, VIT Velour and VIT okay. Chennai. Okay. So around. And then uh, after your summer internship, you got the full time offer. So in that, was there any process involved? Like, did you have to give any a uh, presentation or something like that in the end of your internship, or was it like a? No, not really. Uh, okay. Yeah, just, not in the uh, hmm. college, I would say. But uh, in the company, mm. but okay. in the company, yeah, there was one final presentation. Mm. It consisted of what we did in our two months. 
everything we had to go and we had to okay. and it was not an individual thing it was team wise like whoever all the interns who were under the same okay. manager okay. so uh, most of them yeah. were converted or all of them were converted or or do you know that okay no not all of them were converted okay so out of 37 yeah, 50 yeah. people were converted okay. which is a okay. pretty good number that's great somya thank yeah. you so much for sharing your experience and uh, do you have any suggestions for your juniors who are trying to get summer internships or getting placed or anything that you learned from your experience that you'd like to share yeah okay so firstly i would recommend all the juniors who are watching this video try to get a summer internship i mean it personally helped me a lot you don't have to go through mm. that process sitting in line waiting for hours and give multiple uh, tests and everything so try to get a mm. summer internship perform very well there and get a ppo it is like mm. the easiest thing you can do in your right. college life which would actually help you it would really really help you you won't have to mm. sit into all the long process and everything you won't have to go through that mm. stress you would be like relaxed and uh, about dsa yeah dsa is important but so are developing skills for me i hmm. preferred uh, developing my skills more than dsa i would say so i really wanted to get a job because i was like if i won't get a job hmm. i don't even know like i know dsa but not that that much so i can just sit for placements and all so i was like okay yeah okay. so developing skills is important dev dev app dev whatever you are into ml ai sources to that and yeah competitive coding if you are into it well and good i was not into it yeah. i hated competitive coding but yeah, i had to do and yeah i guess we got dsa in our hmm. third year or second hmm. year last semester i don't know i don't remember exactly but whenever uh, you get dsa as a subject you can either start before that right. or as you were taking the subject or after that but do the essay it yeah. is a must yeah. thing yeah. they would ask questions related to it to okay okay more. that's great thank you so much yeah. for sharing your experience and for the suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people and yeah thank you so much thank you all for watching please do like share and subscribe and let me know which company you would like next